Welcome back to the channel, CNC fans. What I have for you today is something special. It's the very first review of a brand new product from a company called Rapid Change ATC, an automatic tool changer for the hobbyist CNC. If you've looked at acquiring an automatic tool changer for your CNC in the past, you know it's just price prohibitive. These guys have a great solution at an excellent price point. What we're going to show you is the Rapid Change ATC on our CNC's paid for with our own money, not sponsored in any way. Here on the Rapid Change ATC website, you're going to see a variety of different models that are available, including ones like this, where you can select a color option. You can also select collet sizes. For instance, it's currently compatible with ER11, 16, and ER20, and soon just announced in December 2023 compatibility with the ER25. You also select the options if you want a tool setter included, which would be separate or in one of the magazines. In the description, I'll add a link to this Rapid Change ATC website and another link to the Rapid Change ATC channel on YouTube. I encourage you to look at all those videos. It tells their journey of how they created this product. Currently, Rapid Change has integrations to these most popular platforms, including Mach 3 and UC CNC, which we will be demonstrating later. In addition to that, there are planned integrations to these other platforms, including Masso for the Onefinity CNC users. And here in action is the Rapid Change ATC in real time, dropping tools and picking up tools. I'm also going to play a short clip here from the Rapid Change ATC team on the requirements needed to make this work in your environment. It can work as a standalone system with simple G-code on any machine. As long as your spindle can be controlled with G-code and able to spin both clockwise and counterclockwise at 1200 RPM, you're good to go. You're changing tools without wrenches. And now that you've seen it in action, let's go ahead and answer the two big questions that everybody has, and I mean everybody. How can it possibly get the spindle nut tight enough so the bit doesn't come flying out and won't it cross thread? Let's answer the first question. Will the spindle nut be tight enough? Here it is loading a bit from the Rapid Change ATC magazine and then proceeding to cut some mild steel. If anything were to test the nut torque level, it would be this job. When the spindle engages the nut in the magazine at 1200 RPM, it's the power that generates 12 to 15 foot-pounds of torque, more than sufficient to hold the bit in place. And to answer the second question, will it cross-thread, there's actually two reasons why that can't happen. The first reason cross-threading isn't an issue is because the 12 to 15 pounds of torque generated isn't enough to damage the hardened steel threads. And the second reason is in the very nature of what a CNC is a very precision tool with commands that can send it to a precise location at a precise speed within tolerances of a thousandth of an inch. And with the Rapid Change ATC magazine holding the nut in a precise location, you can load and unload that nut reliably every time. And finally, here's our first real-world implementation of the Rapid Change ATC. And let's all agree that every one of us uses a CNC differently. This is the setup and configuration that works specifically for us. Starting with a UC CNC macro that opens our pneumatically controlled dust cover. And then we move the spindle to drop the current bit. and then run a UC CNC macro to tell it to load the bit in slot one. And lastly, what you're seeing here is we're gonna instruct the spindle to go to the touchless probe. It's our version of the probe. This prevents the bit from contacting metal too many times, and the touchless probe we found to be very, very accurate. 
I'll include a link in the description to this if you'd like to investigate it further. And lastly, here's an overhead view of the same sequence of actions from unloading a bit to loading a bit, including using the touchless probe. And following our testing, we have to admit, we're super impressed with this product. It really works and it does everything they say it will do. I can't state it loudly enough how revolutionary this is going to be for the hobbyist CNC user. If you're ready to add an automatic tool changer to your CNC and you can answer yes to these three questions, I encourage you to contact the Rapid Change ATC team and they'll find the right solution for you.